If you want to find out how to create a cute bullet journal cover for November or just have a chill and cozy drawing session, let's do it together. When I think of November, I like to think of abundance and food. Things that are cozy but also like brings you a lot of joy and good memories. So that's what we're going to be um, drawing inspiration from on our bullet journal spread today. I always like to start with writing the name of the month in whatever font that I'm feeling. I chose to do November in lowercase letters because I wanted to incorporate a lot of bold images into this spread. Whenever you're not sure what to draw on a bullet journal spread or honestly on anything, adding foliage to your image will bring it to life and also freshen up the page. After doing that, I sort of used that as a warm up to think about what I want to draw next. And the next thing I really wanted to draw was something round like a nice, not apple pie. What kind of pie is this? I think it's one of those cherry pies yeah or strawberry rhubarb pie now i'm drawing a slice of pumpkin pie but you know that if this is a bullet journal spread that i'm doing we have to make it animated or cute in some way Also, feel free to practice this on another page before you do it directly into your bullet journal. That's actually what I did for this one, just to test out if I would like it. Another character that I love to draw in my drawings or bullet journal spreads are cups with happy faces on them and shoes and hands. As you can see between these pauses, I'm definitely thinking about what I want to draw next, what's going to add that balance or bring that energy into the drawing. And the next thing I'm drawing is a stalk of corn. My thought process around this was I really like corn and I think November reminds me of corn. And also in my like home city, corn milk lattes have been really popular lately now we are drawing another variation of pie and i got a lot of inspiration on what to draw from pinterest so i try to use that as inspiration but then i spice it up to make it my own for example, um, adding different faces to it, kind of shifting the angle, but of course, if you're doing this for yourself, feel free to draw whatever you'd like. This is how I draw a pumpkin. I feel like since I've been in school, like whenever I draw in my notes, when it comes time to October or November, I draw a lot of pumpkins. You can draw a pumpkin with a simple face like this or a jack-o'-lantern, which is my favorite. I felt like the spread was missing an element of coziness, but also animals. I love drawing animals in whatever big drawing I do. Even when I'm doing visual facilitation for a lecture in class, I will still incorporate animals in some way. And honestly, it seems really simple, but sometimes adding elements like this bring a lot of joy and comfort, but also maybe even some humor into whatever you're drawing. Can't call you up 
Alright guys, so for the rest of the video, I'm going to let the music play so that you guys can just enjoy, relax, chill out, and draw, whatever you choose to do. But I hope that for this session, that you can embody the coziness, warmth, and spirit of creating that November brings.
Hope you all had so much fun drawing and finished your bullet journal cover as well or finished the work that you did or just honestly had a calming and cozy time. If you guys would like to see more of these types of videos, please let me know in the comments or if you have any other requests, I am planning to do a how to draw animals video soon. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah. Thank you again for being here as always and I can't wait to see you in the next video.